Let's review the fourth way a photo can be captured by using our Vionics selfie process. You can send group Vionics selfies, or in this case, just send it to a single record. The recipient receives an email on their device or PC, which is 100% customizable. The recipient scrolls to the bottom of the email to find and select the embedded hyperlink. In the privacy statement, the recipient must select yes to go forward. If they select no, they will be declined, which is noted on the dashboard. This is no more than a basic software license usage agreement. Here, the recipient will complete the CAPTCHA, I'm not a robot, which can be enabled or disabled by authorized users. The recipient selects the correct images, in this case, all the motorcycles, and then selects verify. The Vionic Selfie defaults to the Photo Properties tab where the recipient will be able to review set standards. A sample photo image is provided for reference. In the Card Info tab, the recipient can review their customer-defined ID card information found in their Vionic portal record. They can also edit enabled fields like common name, license tag number, notes, and shipping address if they are remote. In the Photo tab, the recipient will see a current photo if previously captured. If so, the Use icon appears under the Replace icon. In this case, the user likes the current photo and selects Use to continue. Here, the recipient will acknowledge the photo and address are correct and will select Save. However, in this case, the head is cut off at the top of the photo, so we'll select Cancel and take a new photo. The recipient will now select Replace icon to continue. They then select the Get Photo icon to engage their device. The recipient is given three options. Take Photo, where they can live capture from their device, Photo Library that allows them to browse their device's photo library, Browse where they can search files using their device's file explorer if applicable, we'll select Take Photo to continue. Here the recipient will enable the selfie mode of their phone and then take their photo by selecting the phone's button. The recipient now has the option to retake or use the photo. Upon selecting Use Photo, they have completed the submission. The submittal URL is now locked and the recipient will no longer have access to edit their record. Now the photo and any edited data will immediately appear in the associated Vionics Portal record. Just as before, the Vionics Portal user will crop validate the photo either manually or using the auto photo cropping wizard if processing batches. This concludes the Vionics Portal photo management presentation. Thank you for your time.